That's what I'm saying. Sometimes I get, sometimes I can control it, sometimes I can't. And it's like, if you if you get a ten pence piece or a, or a, or a penny or you know what I mean a coin, mm-hmm. put it in the middle of a plate, yeah, like you eat your dinner off, and they say you use ten percent of your brain. Mm. If that coin's representing the ten percent of your brain, and the plate's the whole of it, yeah. and you go that meditation and that stillness of non thought gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like it's spiraling out. Mm-hmm. And, that coin, and at billion, some I, point it you know exceeds the boundaries of your body, but you can still feel everything around you and it just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think then it's like it's almost like you become enlightened then. Yeah, you have all these arousals of light and all this different stuff happening to you, and and then your third eye opens, and and then it's like you've got that plate then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your brain. But all of a sudden you've dropped it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, all of a sudden, you've got to grow that one. Mm. And it's, you know, it's, yeah. you know. Um, can I ask you one more question? Because uh, yeah. at some point, uh, I'll have to let you go out to, <laughs> to live your day. But um, how do you say you, you, I mean, your level of ambition and, and your, I mean, what your ambition is, how, how's that changed over this, uh, this year? I mean, uh, do you still strive for things, or do you just accept them as they come? Um, I, I mean, I'm, don't seem, don't seem, don't seem to be in a rush to do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never looked forward and think I've got to do this, mm-hmm. I've got to do this, I've got to, and, and come up with a scenario that uh, that could happen. Mm-hmm. That's all gone. Yeah. It's about now, and right now. A smile on my face, talking to a lovely gentleman from the other side of the world, you know. Or the, pond, uh, or the pond. Well, you know, it? yeah. it's um, it's about now. It's like this woman, she was in in my house, I've never met her before, she came in my house, because uh, I have groups of people come round who I don't even know, like from this talk that we do, different people come week, from week, you know. And this woman was, I was talking to this ginger Chris about this energy. I could feel all this energy coming out of me forehead at the top of my head. It was intense. And as I was talking to him, I was stood there and she was sat where I am. Mm-hmm. Right? And she, she she tapped me on the arm. She's I can feel that. I can feel it. I can feel it. This girl had never meditated or anything before. The first time she felt the energy. Mm-hmm. And I said to her, I said, Claire, I said, you're going to feel a sharp prick at the top of your crown in a minute. I says, but not now. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. And then I carry I turn around, carried on talking. But before before this happened, she'd fainted on my living room on my kitchen floor. This Claire fainted on the floor. Um and it was all like slow motion. It was like the weirdest thing. Anyway, I got a space, that's when I sat her down there talking to my friend. Then I was talking about the energy. She says, Yeah I could feel it. So she was feeling the energy in the room. That's what made her faint. Mm-hmm. So anyway, when I said to her about the sharp prick on the head, I said to her, um, and she looked as if to say, like, is it going to happen now? And I went, not yet. I'll tell you when. And then I carried on walking for 10, 15 minutes. And I turned around and looked at her. And she looked at me. And I went, no, no, not yet. And I carried on talking, completely ignored her. And I turned around and went, now. And she went, ah! <laughs> Yeah. At that point, I turned round and knelt down, and I said, Claire, I said, when you go to bed, I said, you've got to know in your heart that right this second, everything's all right. Kids are fed. You know, you're in a good place. Right this second, everything's good. Right? You go to bed in the vortex, yeah? Mm -hmm. You wake up in it. And so that's what I'm saying to you. It's about now. If you can, if you know right now, Pelly, you're all right and everything's good, yeah? yeah. And just stay in that moment all the time, without looking ahead at things, and you're going to find yourself very quickly. Yeah, all right. So when she felt this prick on her head, and I said this to her, I said the intention is everything so you go to bed feeling that 
that's his on the other so on the other hand, you go to bed feeling negative or worrying about stuff. You're gonna feel it all in the morning, it's still gonna be there. Mm-hmm. It's about now. And right now you're alright. So what's the problem? 